Good morning friends. Today I'm going to show you a place that I like to photograph. It is in the south of Iceland. It is not um, uncommon knowledge where it is, so I'm not going to say exactly where it is, but yeah, many of you know already. I'm going to show you how I approach it, what photos I'm taking, showing you the angles and other nice stuff. So let's go along. One of the spots that I usually take a photo is down here by that, by that rock. You got the leading line, the river coming up to the waterfall and the rocks in the foreground. I'm gonna take you there and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to Get a photo with with this rock as a foreground. Maybe one here in the just just low here, and the leading line. See the river and the waterfall. So I, it will be a vertical shot because I want to get the the height of the rocks in the frame also. I'm shooting this at one-fifth of a second, F9, and you see that rock here in the foreground? It's going up here this way, getting those two pillars in the photo. So it's going to be a, a vertical frame like this. I set the tripod down low because I want this foreground to be as close as possible to the waterfall because you're compressing the middle area and getting more emphasis on the foreground. At one-fifth of a second, you get smooth lines in the water, not quite blurry, but a little bit details. And F9 will give you good focus and the contrast and sharpness all the way in. here is excellent. You can drink it straight from the creek. Especially with when it's coming down from the mountains like that and it's super fresh. Here is Kvernefoss. It's a, it's a good time in the middle of the day when the sun is hitting it. But now you see the shadow is coming in to the, on the side. 
and soon it will be in darkness. So I'm gonna go behind it and try to get a shot through the waterfall and maybe I'll have the sun on the edge of the cliff here on the other side of it. So it's time to get wet again. This looks pretty good. I'm going to go a little bit higher, get a different angle, but when I shoot it, it's going to be a vertical composition because the waterfall is higher than you can see here on, on the video. And I'm going to get a vertical shot with it to the top of it and with me standing on that rock. I guess you have seen a lot of photos that way. But yeah, one more, it doesn't hurt. between those rocks and leading up to the waterfall. This time there is so much water in the river that I cannot go into it. You can just see it right here. Even though I'm wearing my boots, it's, it's not, not enough. I'm going to show you how I build up this shot here. It's going to be a vertical. I'm down here into the stream. I put my tripod down low. And I'm shooting it two exposures. The waterfall is one-sixth of a second at F10. But the stream is 0.4 seconds at f10 and then i will merge them together because the contrast is so it's so high now the sun is hitting the waterfall and the shadow in the in the valley in the in the gully is is so deep if i wait here for like one hour then 
the waterfall will be in a shadow so I can then I can make a one exposure but at least um, I'm gonna show you that photo and see the composition that I that I made So this was Fernefoss waterfall. It is one of my favorite spots to go to. Usually there is not many people. And especially now as Iceland is not open yet, it's June 5th. And there is only a few Icelandic people going out and exploring. So if you like this video, go and click like and subscribe if you want to see more and um, I hope to see you soon again next time cheers